Hi learners, it's Mrs. Swanson again, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Atrium catalog to kind of browse for books if you don't have a book in mind that you want to get. There's a couple different things you can look at and feel free to poke around in there and find some books and make sure you're putting them on reserve so that we can deliver them to your classroom. If you don't know how to put books on reserve, check out the video and directions document I posted last week. All right, here we are at the catalog, and first, you guys probably know, but you can search for a topic if you want to, or a title, by just typing in a search. So if I wanted a book about soccer, I could just type in soccer and see some different results there. I wanted to show you this because there's a tip that I like to suggest. Um, I don't like to see the books in this square grid view. I like to change it by looking at these little different um, tiny icons over here, changing it from the one that has little squares in it, instead tapping this one, the one that has lines or the kind of look like sideways exclamation points. And then you get a long list that shows the books and it has more information right in this first page. It has a little summary of the book. So that I find more helpful. But if you don't really know a topic that you want to have a book about, there's some things that can help you. First of all, right when you come to the first screen, when you click on the Atrium app, um, there is a link to genres. And if you are in the mood for a certain type of book, like adventure, fantasy, historical fiction, humor, mystery, sad fiction, or sports fiction, you can tap on one of those. I always like a good fantasy book, so I tapped on that. There's actually um, six pages of suggestions here of fantasy books. So even though you can't walk around the library and look, this is one way you can kind of browse to see if there's something that you would like to put on reserve and have checked out to you. Um, another way that you can browse um, is if you go, we were just in this visual tab here, but if you go over to the home tab, there is a what's new scrolling picture of a bunch of books going by, and those are relatively new books. Um, and there's going to be more new books being added very soon too. So if you see something you like, you can either just catch it when it's scrolling by and tap on it and read a little summary about it. And you can from right here, put it on reserve if you wanted to. Um, or if you'd rather see the whole list, you can just tap on this see all down there and see a whole list of new books. Again, there will be more coming in the next few weeks. And then finally, besides the genres, besides um, new books, you also can explore this other tab that's called list. And there are some lists. I hope to add more as I have time, but just some suggestions of books if you like anything in particular. A lot of beginning chapter books are in there now, so maybe some shorter books if you're interested in that. I also have a list of recommendations specifically for fifth grade. That doesn't mean fourth graders or younger can't read them either, but I usually book talk those books to fifth grade. There's also illustrated chapter books, so if you want to see that, you could tap on that and see. So they're, they're novels, they're chapter books, but they do have pictures in them, so sometimes people just want to have a book like that. Um, so there's a few lists there, including, again, sad novels, which is something I get asked for fairly often. So those are some ways you can kind of browse, and I hope that you do take advantage of all the books that we have sitting in here and ask us to reserve one so that you can read them. Have a great day. Happy reading.